So you might be having some issues with your touchpad on your Mac. Now I've had this issue a lot of different times on tons of different devices, not just Macs as well, but there's a few different ways you can do to kind of fix this problem. Now the very first thing that I actually do whenever my Mac trackpad is messing up and it's not moving around, as you can see it's moving around just fine, but whenever I have this issue, what I do is I typically will just grab my Mac screen, like my MacBook screen lid, I will go ahead and completely shut this thing, so I'll just go and shut this MacBook lid off. I will go ahead and basically open it back up and I'll go ahead and sign in as I usually do. And sometimes, surprisingly, that will end up fixing the problem. These are usually glitches and these aren't like permanent things that end up happening forever. They're just temporary, they'll just come and go. And if they're, you know, going right now and if they're, you know, actually causing issues, well, there's not much you have to do. You just have to go and shut the lid, turn it back on, and that might end up fixing it. Now, the other thing you also want to make sure is that if you have a skin or a case on your trackpad, including if it's over this specific trackpad, you know, glass screen where I hear, well, then that's going to cause some issues. So I would probably remove that. I would also probably grab some sort of napkin or whatever you can, even maybe your shirt. And you might just want to go ahead and kind of, kind of clean this off the top portion because if there's lots of crumbs and stuff stuck on top of this, it may just be glitching, especially if you spilled water on it. That can probably cause some issues as well. Now, another thing you want to try doing is if it's still not working, but you think your MacBook is not frozen and it's still kind of working, your best bet is to completely power down your MacBook and then turn it back on. So what you can do here is find the power button of your MacBook. In this case, for us, it's in the top right corner. Hold down this you know, power button until your MacBook completely powers off. And then what you want to do is after a few seconds, plug in your MacBook if you can, and then go ahead and power it back on. For a lot of people out there, that is probably all you're going to have to do, and that's probably going to end up fixing the problem for you too. So that is pretty much, those are pretty much the main ways that I typically fix it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.